All right, so let's have a look at you. So first off, you've got, when you practice, you know, you've got to work within a, in some boundaries. And the boundaries, I've kind of created a gauntlet here, meaning that, you know, there's a ramp that helps inspire the awareness of your swing circle, okay? So your swing circle is just the inclined version of this event that's going to miss the ramp, touch the ball, brush the grass, right? That just kind of makes, it helps people understand where to put their swing circle. When we look at this over on the right over here, this is you. Now, you can see I'm standing perpendicular to a target line, meaning that I am doing my best to stand where I know the target line to be. And based on me knowing where the target line is, it's really easy to see how open all these relationships are. Does that make sense? Versus now on the left, you can see how nicely organized the relationships are. And we are cheating, no question about it. You're a new golfer. We're cheating by using a T-square on the ground to help you organize. And when you practice, you need to put a stick down and a T-square. And if you want to buy one, you can. Traveling with it would be no fun, but you should get one. And they two sticks come in the tube, and you can set it up like that. I sell them. Anyway, you can get them on my website. Um, where you can buy one for me today. But anyway, let's take a look at this. So here is your seven iron swing. There are things I would clean up, no question about it. But there's so much more good to talk about than the things. I mean, the centeredness, beautiful. So the centeredness of the motion is excellent. So just taking a random look at the centeredness of your head behavior. You know, very, very nice how your body and everything's responding through impact. You know, quite nice, Sid. You know, your weight pressure and, and you look like a golfer. You're standing in balance on your lead foot. There's still some of that guiding and steering of the club face post-impact where the, the, the back of your lead wrist is kind of holding off the fall through a little bit. But you know what? I mean, compared to what this, this guy was doing over here, you're hardly getting it airborne. So, this guy on the right is really playing the fade. He's aiming left. He's really got to, you know, reverse this club face in order to hit it straight. And you can see how, you can see now that how we're having gradients of change, right? Nice gradients of change, you know, in this swing. I mean, you do, you do, you you carry a momentum well into the finish, which is great. And let's take a look at, um, let's look at the down the line perspective of this now. We'll look at the, where is it? This one, yeah. And then let's look at the difference. So, you know, just to come back to this one, I'd say for a new golfer, you know, tomorrow we'll work a little bit on, you know, I think your hip turn could be fractionally different. So your weight pressure kind of slides around on your feet a little bit. We could we could do some improvements there, but I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here from a, a new golfer. And I'll leave you tomorrow with some stuff that will help solidify that when you go practice on your own. Now, looking at the down the line version, I, we'll see a lot of a lot of big changes. Again, we've got you in the gauntlet. We've got the ramp there to help you with swing circle. I'm barking at you about getting your hips organized, and you can kind of see yourself settle in and reset your hips. You're, the way you're oriented on the right screen, you know, our target's over here. You know, that big power pole right there, and you can see how everything is aiming left, aiming left, aiming left. Which would mean that, you know, as you come to a golf ball, I mean, you do a lot of things pretty good. But now, you know, you're going you're gonna to do everything you can to hold this thing off pretty powerlessly to try to make that ball go back to the right by reversing the face, adding a bunch of loft, hitting it high, too high if you don't chunk it, and then having the ball fade, okay? So now this guy on the left screen, way better angles because you've got, you know, the, the gauntlet on the ground to help you. And then this behavior in your swing looks quite nice. I mean, all these positions, you're kind of hitting all these pro positions right here. I like everything about this. I think in the way the club's coming down into impact is beautiful. Okay, and it's just, it's trap, you know, trapping the ball. The face is slightly open to the path, a teeny weeny bit. 
and you get a little pushy fade, and you don't quite know what to do post-impact, and we'll spend some time on that tomorrow. It's still kind of that hoisty, you know, helping the ball up. Well, you know, so see where your, your exit is, way, way high right here. You know, yeah, so you stay there for a second, and I'll, I'll give you the example. You know, it, it would just look, it would look different in that, you know, you on your own, you're trying to make a ball go straight and, you know, make it go up. It would look a little different. It would look something like this. And you'll see how the, uh, where the hands exit. But, you know, I'm, I don't want to take away from all the good stuff you're doing. The golf ball really doesn't know what's about to happen, okay? And where you are right now looks high level, okay? And you're doing a great job, but right, unfortunately, you need a little bit more the appropriate forces and torques to hit great shots rather than to hold off. So, you know, what you'd see, I'm kind of exaggerating what you're doing, you're doing all this stuff beautifully, you know, really, really nicely. You look great all the way into here. Yeah, you look great. Now, as this club kind of works out to get to the ball, okay, watch where my club starts to go. It starts to exit way, way, you know, more around me to the left. And I may heal that one a bit because our club face is a bit more closed than normal. But you see where the club's exiting? Way more around me. And then this on the, on the left screen is typical of a beginner trying to make something go straight, trying to make something go up, rather than letting the circular... Um, well, yeah, inertia and inertia goes left. You know, it's a, it post impact, the uh, swing continues around us, not down the target line. Okay, but I got to tell you, you did a great job. Great job. Way to go.